From Tehran, it's all very clear. A Syrian war is a threat to the wider region, and all sides should work together to stop it. Iran is Syria's strongest ally. Tehran is watching uncomfortably as its neighbor unravels and pushing the case for peace. Our plan calls for the end of violence, declaration of a ceasefire, continuation of national dialogue, providing a situation for free elections and the forming of a new parliament to set a constitution. It's the third meeting Iran has hosted to try to solve the Syrian crisis. Countries affected to a greater or lesser extent are represented. Iraq has a big stake. It has taken in more than 150,000 Syrian refugees. Taking everything into account, Iraq has never supported one side or another, one sect or another. We want peace. That's why we want a solution as soon as possible. But more than two years of negotiations over Syria have made no progress. Russia says one reason is because Iran is excluded from international talks. Iran hasn't been invited to the proposed Geneva peace talks. It's been seen as one of the best chances for an agreement, and the Russians think that chance will improve if Iran is there. We insist on Iranian participation. We also insisted on it last year during the first conference because without Iranian participation, I cannot even predict a successful, let's say, outcome of the conference. Iran is one of the key players in the region. So I think it's a must, Iranian participation. In Tehran, the UN's representatives continued to express their dismay at the continuing bloodshed. This meeting is held with the full backing of the United Nations. Both the Secretary General and Syria's special envoy to the UN sent messages of concern and both emphasized the point that there is no military solution to the Syrian crisis. But with the European Union lifting a ban on arming the opposition and Hezbollah's recent vow to fight to keep Bashar al-Assad in power, not everyone believes that. Soraya Leni, Al Jazeera, Tehran.